Hey everyone! Welcome to this week's Mom Topic. Today we're talking about the dreaded subject, chores. I'm Rachel Hines. I'm a mother of two little boys. They are two and a half and three and a half. For the longest time, well, I guess for two and a half and three and a half years, they haven't done chores. I would ask them to do things here and there or whatever, but I didn't really expect much of them because they're two and three. What can they really do? I started watching another YouTuber, um, Fun Cheaper Free by Jordan Page, and she talks about how she makes her kids do chores and different things, and I thought that was great, and I wanted to try some stuff with my kids, but again, they're two and three, what can they really do? So I came up with these little charts kind of off of her idea, and we tried it, and the boys loved it. We're over a week, and they are loving it and earning uh, money for it. It's just been really great. So I wasn't sure what the kids could do being so young and so I thought well I'll just make these charts coming from the idea from Fun Cheaper Free and we'll just we'll see what happens and so I made up my own little charts and I will have um, if you would like charts like these for your little kids I will have a free printable that you can download um, in the description but they look like this if you can see it so as you can see that um, this one's Callens he so I'll just try it out for today. So basically what you have is you have the name and then whatever, and then because my kids can't read, I just have pictures that they can clear clearly see what it is. And then you can see this red line. So what that means is anything above the red line, they have to be done in order to watch 30 minutes of screen time. They can watch TV or they can play on their tablets, whatever they want, 30 minutes of screen time after all the above the red is done. And then the other, um, he only has two under the red line, those just have to be done um, before bed. But if his whole chart is completed, by the end of the day, he gets a quarter. That's not much, but for a two-year-old, they think that it is the most fun and amazing thing to earn money. And they do this every single day, except for Sundays and Saturdays. We're just crazy people, and we don't have time for that on Saturdays and Sundays. So Monday through Friday, they fill these charts out. And so this is my two-year-old. As you can see, there is, get dressed. He cannot get his clothes out by himself, so I typically go to his clothes out and kind of lay them out. He needs a little bit of help, but he can decently get dressed on his own. Um, say a prayer. So typically, we'll, we'll make his bed. He knows how to make his bed. I showed him how. Just real easy, like, put this corner here, put this corner of your bed, or corner of your blanket here, and it doesn't always look good, but he can do it himself. And then we make his bed, and then I'll say a prayer with him and then he has to feed our dog. Um, that's really easy. We have a big tub of food uh, right outside of our garage door and he can go and scoop it. All I have to do is open the door because he can't open the door by himself. Right? He can get himself dressed to make his bed but he can't open a door. Uh, but So he can do that all by himself as long as I open the door and he feeds her. So he has to do those things and once he does those he'll go and he loves that you can see his amazing check marking skills. He goes and does that and he can watch um, 30 minutes of whatever he wants. And then this is my three-year-old. It looks pretty much the same. Same ones up here, except for instead of um, feeding our dog, he has to give her water. And he is able to, um, I have kitchen stools that I got from Walmart for $10. Those are amazing, big lifesavers. He gets a stool, he gets a cup, he fills it in the sink, and he pours it into the dog's water dish. He can do it all by himself, he's three and a half. He does really good, he spilled it like once, but he normally does really good. I just have to remind him to slow down and be careful. But besides that, he has the same ones above the red line. And then under the red line, he has clean room, dishwasher, and put clothes away. He, the only one, the only difference is he has put clothes away. The, my two-year-old does not have put clothes away. He does put some of his clothes away. Like, he can only reach, like, his bottom drawer, which is, like, PJs. So he can't put all of his clothes away. But I do have dishwasher on both of their lists. That really was a stretch for me. I really didn't know a two-year-old and three-year-old, like, can they really put dishes away? But like, let's try it. Within the first day, they loved it. They thought it was really fun. And they are able to, I supervise them because there's glass and there's sharp things and I want to make sure they don't 
touch things they shouldn't. But for the most part, they can pretty much load and unload it by themselves with those stools, which are amazing. I love having their help in the kitchen. They, they do a really, really good job and they want to help. My dishwasher is like just randomly throughout the day needs done. I don't always have it first thing in the morning. I don't always have it first thing after lunch or whatever. Typically at least once a day they have to do the dishwasher and I'll let them know whenever it's ready. That's why it's not above the red line because it's just randomly throughout the day. So those are things that they can do. And they also fold clothes for me. They can help more of towels. They fold towels. They are not perfectly nice and neat, but they can fold them and uh, it's just fun for them to get involved and help. They, my three-year-old can take out trash bathroom. He can take it out and put a new bag back in all by himself. And those are little extra things that whenever they do extra things, I'll write them over here. And then I'll just make note and anything extra that they do that's not on the list, they get an extra like nickel or dime or whatever that day for it. So that's fun and they love to help. And honestly, getting them involved in helping, they, they help me in the kitchen a lot more now and they doing these chores and the different things. Really, they don't fight as much anymore because I have them busy. Like, I kind of sounds bad, but like they still have fun and they play, but they're busy doing their chores to earn their money, to be able to buy things they want. And so they kind of don't fight as much because they're occupied doing good things. So I have, like I said, I have these lists, um, free printable. It'll have a blank up here instead of my kid's name, because you probably don't want my kid's name on yours. All I did was this is just a piece of paper and I laminated it. I was looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> I just printed my charts off on regular paper and then I laminated them. So that way instead of making new lists every single day, we can just dry erase marker, wipe it off, use it every day. Really, really um, easy. If you don't have a laminator, ask around, see if you can find one. I use my churches, um, but it, it makes it a little easier so you don't have to print it every single day. So when we go to town now, they have their own uh, allowance that they've earned. Like I said, they get like a quarter a day, so it's not a whole lot. But we are teaching them to tithe and trying to teach them the value of money and how you can work hard to earn money and, and then how you can save up and buy things and, and whatever. And so it's just, it's good for them to learn from a young age money and how you can earn it and that things aren't just free in life. It's so easy to just go to town and buy your kid a dollar toy or a dollar candy bar or you know whatever but now if they want something I simply say do you want to use your allowance for that and so they can kind of relate that oh I did that work I earned this money it got me this and so they can kind of connect it all and it's good for them to learn at a young age there's a few other chores that I have them do that isn't on um, their charts like I have this cleaning solution it's actually on my brandless review it's the solution or that's the cleaning stuff that I use on there I feel good with my kids using it, I feel safe about it. So I'll let them spray the, the kitchen table, the counters, and they can spray all that stuff and they wipe it down for me. So I let them clean the counters and the um, table. They love, I have this little vacuum cleaner that I would like to do a video on. Let me know if you want to see a video on this cool little vacuum cleaner that has made my life so much easier. They love this little vacuum cleaner and they actually ask to use it. Like Kaysen the other day was like, hey mom, can I vacuum under the couch? And I'm like, Psh, who vacuums under the couch? Sure, go ahead. So I just scooted the couch out a little bit and he completely vacuumed underneath it. And now like it's one of those things that like kind of want to show off underneath your couch. But like, how do you do that nonchalantly? So it's just something that they that they can do and they have fun doing it. And uh, it's, just, it's really good to get your kids involved no matter how young. It's never too early to start. I know I felt like they were too young to do anything, so I was like, eh, we'll give it a few years. Now I wish I would have started sooner. And they, they can and they are capable of doing things. I hope this has helped you maybe see what your kids can do or um, get you started in the right direction of what to do with your kids. I would love to hear from you with how chores are going at your house, if it's yay or if it's eh. Um, remember that the chart, free chart, is down in the description. Make sure you subscribe to my video. Subscribe and check out my other videos. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more about it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Like it's showing a little, it's probably not recorded. Anything you've just done, but it's probably fine.